1940s in the peak of crimes that man had never seen. This world was fantastic in 2012 and it has been made even better with the remastered Hello Gamers. Switch 007 here and this is my review for a fantastic detective game, L.A. Noir. So it originally came out in 2012 as you all know. I'm not going to go on about the plot because I'm sure we've all played it to this point. This is more a review for the remastered and technical achievements that they have done in 2017. So I played it originally in 2012 and I played it on the Xbox 360 and I absolutely loved it. So it has been quite a treat to come back now and play it on the Xbox One X. I played it also on Microsoft Windows and I've previewed it on the Nintendo Switch. So, so far I'm very impressed with my time with the game. It's brought back a lot of memories and the graphics surprisingly even hold up well today. Obviously you can notice there are some problems with the resolution. It is a 2012 game, it's not a complete ground built remaster. It is a refresh and it does have a much better frame rate and a fantastic 4K support on the Xbox One X. So, so far I've been really enjoying my time with this. Um, we know the story, it's, it's fantastic. You play as Phelps, Cole Phelps. People who originally played this in 2012, I do think you've got a massive reason to return to this game. It is a really fun game to play and the facial animations in interrogation scenes is one of my favourite aspects. Um, trying to discover who's lying, try not to make sure you give the crime to the wrong person, set them up so they're going to be in jail for the rest of their lives. Uh, the motion scan has aged very well for this game and you really can notice with their facial animations when someone's lying or when they're also telling the truth. But you need to, as Cole, have your wits about you. Of course, it can be very confusing at times and you can also make the wrong choice like I did many times when I originally played it and I've done it many times now on the new version of the remaster. So there's also a lot of things that are coming with this. Um, I've noticed there's going to be a VR case file, which is going to be interesting. That's coming to the PC version on the HTC Vive. It's going to be released on the 15th of December. So that should be good to look into. That would be amazing to go into this world of the 1940s, the LA set, and actually see what it's like in VR. I thought that would be actually a really cool thing to look into. So I'm really enjoying my time with the game. I really do think it is fantastic. I enjoyed it a lot when it first came out. Um, a lot of people were kind of mixed about it because they were thinking it was going to be like a Grand Theft Auto type of game, but you're going to be on the police side of things. That's definitely not the way it is at all. It's more of a detective. Go through and you discover crimes, you solve crimes, and you also level up and go through Cole's career as a detective with the LAPD and go through his years of being in his career. So you start off as, say, Traffic Beat, and you can move up to the detective, all that type of thing. It is a really fantastic game, and you do get to see how it progresses and how time changes the character of Cole. You do notice also that with this open world um, LA, it is definitely a living and breathing city. Um, you do drive around and things are happening and you do see things. So it's not like you're going around and it's just completely dead and there's characters walking around with nothing to say or do. You can discover actually some cool stuff when driving around at a whole 40 miles an hour in the old American tanks. They don't make cars like that anymore. I have waited for a long time for a sequel to this game and I have heard that they are still thinking on it and it is on the radar of Rockstar to make a sequel because I thought this was a really fantastic game and it copped a little bit of flack because people were expecting something else. Um, I do know the team that made it, um, Bondi Studio, uh, they also, after the game was released, um, shut down not long after. They were an Australian company so it's a little bit close to home. It was good that um, they made such a great game but... Rockstar just, uh, yeah, just didn't go down well with a lot of people, so didn't get the money they were hoping. Saying that, though, it has kind of got a little bit of a cult following, I feel. Um, especially with the remaster, it's peaked interest again in the franchise, which I think is really good, uh, because I think people really should play this game. And most of the reviews when the game came out were 8 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Uh, many reviews um, praised it, so it's interesting to see, even though the game was 
acclaimed the way it was um that yeah kind of just didn't get the support over the years i mean i believe when it was released a lot of people were confused with the direction it was going and also um very different to what the media was showing the game was going to be so when you actually got it in your hands people were a bit like well this okay this isn't what i was expecting but i'm for one thought it was fantastic and i thought it built on the story and also i really did like the ending some people thought the ending was a little bit confusing but without going into spoilers the ending is very surprising and also just always watch your teammates and who you're working with of course you can never trust anybody. So wrapping this review up, should you go out and buy this if you played it back in 2012 when it originally came out? Definitely. Should you go and buy this if you've never played it before? Definitely. I think either way you're going to get a lot out of this game and also now that with the Christmas period there is a bit of time for people to chill out and play some games. I finally got through my list so this was actually a really nice game to return to and enjoy it on the Xbox One X as I've hardly used it yet because I've been so busy with other things. So I have really enjoyed this game and if I had to give the original version, so the remaster um, that's just come out, the original version I would have to say I back then it was definitely an 8 out, 8 out of 10 and I'm going to leave it there with this one too definitely deserves an 8 out of 10 um, it is great nothing revolutional happens in this game um, the story is a little bit all over the place at the beginning it does take a solid I would say 5 hours for it to start kicking off but like most open world games it does take its time to find its feet and that's not such a bad thing but if you've got the patience stick with it don't be turned off by the slow starting and not getting much happening because you need to work up to the higher crimes getting closer to the leads also understanding how the world works what drives coal um, all that type of thing so it is a story and it has to mature and it has to progress so final verdict for this i feel is an 8 out of 10 it's a definitely a buy definitely go out and have a go of it um it's out on pretty much everything now you can play the it does look great on pc the 2012 version and there's remaster on the ps4 pro also on the xbox one x and it's also in 1080p on the nintendo switch console so either way there's plenty of room to play it and no matter what you play it on you will have a great time so thanks for watching i love you all i'll speak to you soon